Well, good day, YouTubers, and thank you for tuning in to today's very different video on YouTube. This is another weather forecast video on YouTube, and I just sort of just want to let you know that uh, the why I make these types of videos on YouTube has now delayed the effects of other videos on YouTube. It has potentially delayed my toy views, but also delayed some of the other stuff I was working on, like my new animation projects and other whatnot. But anyways, I'm going to be doing a video about the BBC weather, what's been happening. But also the Met Office, because, you know, I've always been yelling out, Oh, that's just great! I released all the hot and it's trapped with nowhere to go! Which is the main catchphrase that I often use when the UK is turning rather cold, especially during the warmer months. And that's very much synonymous with what's happening, of course. Well, first off, let's take a look at this information here. Uh, I'd like to have Mr. AI read out what's happening here, because obviously... It's going to be quite convoluting for what today's stupid YouTube is like. And I'm just going to scroll down like so. I'm going to click to Mr. AI and see how he speaks. UK summary. Oh, no, not that. Latest forecast for UK. Okay. Say it today. properly. No, say it properly. Okay, okay. Latest forecast for UK. Okay, that's much better. Today. This afternoon we'll see variable cloud, but cloudy skies in the far north. There will be scattered showers across much of the UK, some of which heavy and thundery. Patchy rain in northeast Scotland. Tonight. Tonight, showers will die out in the east, but further scattered showers will move in from the west over Northern Ireland and in the southwest. I'm just going to pause this for a while, and it's a little bit loud. So I'm only going to turn this a little bit down in addition, I think, so that I won't disturb the neighbours. Okay, let's continue. Okay, let me just click. Southwest. Elsewhere, mostly dry with clear skies for a time. Sunday. Tomorrow, variable cloud with scattered showers, some heavy and thundery, particularly in England. Drier in northern Scotland. Turning dry for most by the evening with late sunshine in places. Outlook for Monday to Wednesday. Monday will see a bright start for most, but some scattered showers later in the day, particularly in the north and far southwest. Cloudy with patches of heavy showery rain expected for much of the UK on Tuesday, only northern Scotland will stay mostly dry. On Wednesday, scattered showers to central northern areas, bright and largely dry in the far south. Okay, this is what the weather forecast outlook has been very much blabbering about. Thank you, Mr. AI. So yes, I might take a look at this weather forecast. Later on this video, but I can tell you what, you know what's actually something missing? And I almost have to get the huff out of here because look what's happening. Can you see what's missing? Can you see? They don't even talk about the flipping temperatures! God damn it, BBC Weather, you lazy little sots! How could you? Oh my god, this is pretty much far much more better than just ranting about the weather than just having to think about the goddamn trauma that happened in May of 2024 and thank god i'm not going to think about it of course okay so as i'm just scrolling up scrolling up scrolling up scrolling up and i'm going to pick birmingham of course because that's where i live and there you go it's been loaded and of course yes here is the weather forecast in birmingham right now and as you can just see uh, the weather is straightforward nice and bright and sunny now after all of this stupid cold weather that we've been having so much of late and it's so stupid, so much so that the temperature normally is now showing about 13, 14, 15 degrees? You've got to be joking! God damn it, BBC weather! Well, obviously I just can't really swear here on YouTube because obviously I could get the red flag and probably the BBC weather and also the Met Office could potentially kick me out. Maybe the big solution is to move out of this, uh, out of this country and just move back to like... You know, Malaysia, that would have been fairly nice because they've got much more warmer weather here. But then, you know, what about the consequences of facing against extreme weather events? That's the biggest problem, of course. And let's go to Sunday. And Sunday is just going to be boring as hell. Look at this. Just sunny weather and then look at this. Dun, dun, dun! Look at all this rain here. It's just dumping lots of rain here. This is just stupid. I mean, look at this. 
And the, the sickest thing about this world, look how sicker the UK is facing from. Look how goddamn stupid this low pressure system is trying to move into. Look at this. Look at that. It takes nothing for those showers to convey. And look what happens to Monday. See what happens on Monday? The rebound against Ryan. Look at this. Just stupidly persistent. All of this wet weather attacking the UK. And of course, this, if you go to Wednesday, guess what's happening next? You guessed it, more rain. But then on Thursday, we're now seeing signs that the weather should probably improve. But sadly, those temperatures, they're not even improving. Look at this, it's all cloudy. For God's sakes, get this hot weather back into action. Flipping hell. Oh my God, look at this. What is wrong with the UK, man? It really is rubbish. Okay, here's the pressure chart. So, obviously, this is going to be a complete saga and a complete fiasco behind July of 2024. And thank God the old man's just walked away. And I'm just going to show you the weather, what it looks like right now. Before I shall conclude with the weather forecast and also this pressure chart here uh, as I'm making this video, of course. Okay, I've just had my long sleeve t-shirt on and of course here's, here's the weather. It was raining right now, but of course here's after the morning and the uh, early afternoon. Look at the weather right now. It's all turned nice and dry and sunny, but apparently yeah, it's already mid-July. No, wait, it's early July actually. Um, got clear blue skies, nice sort of wonderful tropical aesthetic skies outside but take a look at this um, because of the sunshine of how strong it is during July you can definitely see that the ground has been completely dried up with quite medium bits of wetness left off from the pavement I think strangely enough I'm not going to film people because obviously I would probably make myself a total loony Without making stupid goddamn videos like that for flipping YouTube these days. I mean, it's so radical these days, isn't it? Yes, the trees are just all straightforward, you know, properly leafy and green in colour. That just goes to show you it is summertime. Uh, but I'm going to show you the weather forecast and the pressure chart of what's been happening with this year's July. And I mean, I'm so sick and tired of hearing low pressure systems in, in the UK bringing cold and wet weather. God damn it. Okay, and my complete and utter diabolical saga behind the weather what we've got in this country is there's actually something a bit misleading. Hello there, we've seen a developing area of low pressure moving across the Indian wells in the last 24 hours. In fact, one of right, let me just turn the brightness a bit, I think. Very wet indeed. Oh, it's okay. The rest of the weekend promises to be a little bit brighter. We should see sunny spells. But further I think I might do on my tablet. Be heavy and a bit better, this isn't is it? This is a developing area of low pressure I was talking about, moving off into the North Sea gradually as we move through the course of the afternoon, but it'll leave fairly strong westerly winds behind it with further showers. I think uh, later in the day we should see the heaviest of the rain move for offshore, and then we'll see sunshine and showers for many areas, probably turning a bit dry for parts of northwest England, the Midlands, and Wales through the afternoon. But if you catch a shower, could be quite heavy, particularly across more southern areas. And the winds of feature, these are mean wind speeds. Gusts will be stronger, but it's going to be blustery across southern and eastern areas. Lighter winds further north and west. Pretty disappointing temperatures for this time in July. But if you avoid the showers and give them some shelter from the wind in the sunshine, you feel quite pleasant. Still so bad. the rain will clear to showers uh, later today uh, for Wimbledon. Some of them could be heavy. And the same again on Sunday. Similar sorts of values. Sunshine and showers. The odd thundery downpour moving through. Complete joke. Now the showers begin to ease uh, for many central and eastern areas this evening and overnight, but further showers will start to push into southern and western areas during the earlier hours. Temperatures under clear skies in single digits, otherwise further south we'll have more of a breeze in the showers than at 10 to 12 degrees. Oh my god, let me just see the temperature anomalies. Oh, oh my god, what the hell? Seven in Newcastle, eight degrees in Birmingham. Oh, oh my God! Give me a flipping break! Oh, what is this rubbish? Eight degrees Celsius. Flipping hell! I've already seen that in the forecast, man. I've already seen that actually. Sunday we start off with more sunshine around than what we had this morning, certainly across southern and eastern areas. The showers will get going into the afternoon, some of them heavy 
and thundery in places. The wind's a little bit lighter, I think, on Sunday, so if you're out of the showers in the sunshine, you should feel a little bit better, 18, maybe 19 degrees. Most though, it's the mid to high teens. Oh Monday, my god. Looks pretty deep. Oh, I think all I smell is Santa Claus's butt getting ice poop. Most though, it's the mid to high teens. Yep, having a prostate exam Monday. with uh, Santa Claus, okay. Monday, the stage looks pretty decent. We're in between weather systems. Tuesday, Wednesday, we see another area of low pressure move across the country. Oh, something good's happening. Windy weather. But look at this, an area of oh, high that's, pressure that's starts good. to topple in from the west later in the week. Oh, that's cool. Thank you very much. Oh, that's cool. Oh, sorry, did I just destroy the um, the weather forecast? Uh, that's quite good. Nice to see a bit of high pressure leading in, but there's actually something misleading beyond this weather forecast, and I might probably show it to you again. Um, I don't know what to really say, but watch that high pressure. You know that high pressure system that's coming up? Monday, the stage looks pretty decent. We're in between weather systems. Tuesday, Wednesday, we see another area of low pressure move across the country to bring wet and windy weather. But look at this, an area of high pressure starts to topple in from the west later in the week, and that could bring some very welcome, dry and sunnier weather to the end of the week and into the following weekend. It could last for a while, but the run-up to then looks unsettled thanks to further areas of low pressure with fairly disappointing temperatures too. And fairly disappointing weather events like the wet weather. And yes, as you just said, those bloody temperatures. Not feeling too crash hot at the moment with those bloody temperatures that say 19 degrees. That is just rubbish. Look at this. Look at this. It just doesn't make any sense. So why does this make sense when I'm saying that doesn't really make any sense because it's summer? Okay, now let's take a look at what's actually happening. So we're still left off with just bits of rain and this could potentially change if I refresh it. Poof! No change after all. But we're seeing very stupid images of... Uh, 18 degrees Celsius of wet weather and 17 to 18 degrees Celsius. But lo and behold, coming via next week, uh, the week after next week, of course, look at this. Warm, sunny weather is pretty much making for a bit of a rebound. This drier area of high pressure is straightforward, slowly coming back, and that's actually very good news. So that does sound very nice, but there's actually something very confusing behind this chart here. If I go back to the video here, and what of course is what's really what's very misleading is is that you've got 20 or 19 degrees Celsius, but you've got wet weather, and in fact it still feels cold when you're still out in the rain and stuff, and that doesn't feel very summery at all. It feels more like a an autumnal or winter picture, or rather than summer. It it just doesn't have the the, the thing that you can just bode win, but here comes the high pressure that's coming in. It's actually coming in from the west, and there's already another low pressure system that's already hitting um, Spain and Portugal and France. Um, as you can see, there's a hint of low pressure just hitting onto these parts of England, and then there's also tiny bits of it here. Um, but what's actually unfortunate, what's even more unfortunate is, is that if you have... If you have high pressure building into the west, you don't get the extreme heat. Um, either good or bad news, um, that's very unfortunate. It's coming all the way from the Azores High, and it's drifting all the way towards the UK. But it's moving on a westerly direction. It's Who knows, I might be totally wrong. I'm not sure if it's southwesterly, that direction, I think. Again, this does seem to really confuse people, whatever the hell am I blabbering about. So, looking at this, that's what we've already seen, the observations of the wet weather that we've just seen. God damn it. Okay, so, uh, looking behind this chart here, the problem is, is I can't really wiggle around with the uh, pressure chart when it's full screen. Okay, so it's only observations and both forecasts. And noticing if I look at the pressure chart anomalies throughout the rest of the UK, you can definitely see what's actually going around here. And um, there's Hurricane Beryl right over here on the bottom left corner. And if I just scroll around here, look at the low pressure systems trickling and working their way in. And there's another one that's also coming out. See, we've got one, 
and then we've also got two. But watch how this high pressure starts to annihilate. Okay, so let's just go back. One low pressure makes it, of course. Going on to Monday, and I can't see it. It, of course, it then comes through. Then on Tuesday, guess what? It just completely destroys the whole day. Look what happens next. It then is followed by another low pressure system. And it's this. Okay, yes, so let's see what happens. So it's still with it. Or is it the same low pressure system? I can't quite recall or tell. Uh, I've got no idea what that is. But as you can see, there's high pressure building across France. But that does not signify that there's dry water here. Because you, as you can see, there's this... There's this whirlpool of low pressure here that's going to attack Spain, Portugal, and France. And what that means is cooler and unsettled water conditions. And what's going to be happening is, look at this high pressure system building in from the Azores. It's trying to kill off that low pressure system here. But I think it's, yeah, you can definitely just actually see it's, it's failing. And I think it's failing because, you know, we've still got low pressure on our cards. And the low pressure is actually drifting northwards across um, parts of Scandinavia, as you can just see, it's scooting away. But then watch how this high pressure system is taking over parts of, guess what? And yeah, I can't really tell, parts of the UK. But noticing, yet again, there's low pressure systems that are actually built within parts of France. And you can definitely just see what's happening. This actually could be the same low pressure system that was... Look what happens. So if I zoom in and see what happens to this low pressure, it actually gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And as you can just see, it's colliding. Colliding across towards Western Europe. See what happens when it makes a big effect across Spain, Portugal and France. And see that the high pressure actually becomes... A substitute low pressure meaning that low pressure will still attack the UK again weather models could potentially change but that's how I'm actually seeing it because I think I must have thought it was a complete misled sort of forecast but then now you know no way Jose to that point of just blabbering about the weather for goodness sakes for no utter reasons and I mean look at Iceland look at Greenland and Iceland and you can see that high pressure it's trying to dodge, it's actually trying to wriggle itself, it's trying to um, um, trampoline those low pressure systems all the way up to Greenland and Iceland, and possibly up towards the northwest. Okay, maybe that could be the greatest scenario of all time for what summer 2024 has to offer, uh, compared to what we've just seen, a complete downfall of what we've already just seen. So much so that the amount of wet weather and cold weather, in fact, I'll tell you something as a bit of a true fact, there was snow hitting Scotland on the highlands of Scotland. I tell you what, it was snowing in the highlands. And get this, it was, it was actually the very first time snow has fallen in July since, although it wasn't July, of course in the summer, guess when was the last time it ever snowed in the summer? It was June in 1975 when there was a cold snap right before there was a heat wave. And a drought. Of course, yes, what happened in 1975 in June was that there was a there was a snowy event sometime in this country here. And I think there was a lots and lots of snow in Buxton Cricket Ground. I think it was. I'm pretty too young to remember, but I think that's what the people have said to me about. Pretty unusual. I mean, who knows? Am I starting to feel like I'm a complete historic what a guo or buo type person? i got no idea whatever the flipping hell am I doing here. But hey, that's going to pretty much conclude this whole video because I won't pretty much be running away with my lungs out just ranting about the weather. More so better than the trauma that I had from like the last two months ago. Anyways, it's tricky to pretty much say about the weather of this year's summer, especially July of today, because it's always so, so different. So, please give this video a like if you really enjoyed in this very interesting explanatory video. Subscribe more for more videos in the future. And as always, thanks so much for watching and goodbye for now.